Hey, what is happening, everyone? My name is Jack Southall, of course, and this is the Monday Night Raw review for November the 2nd, 2015. Coming at you live from Denver, Colorado this week. And, um, of course, this is the Raw review, um, like I just said. And, um, yeah, this Raw was fairly decent. Um, there was some good stuff, there was some bad stuff. Your typical Raw. Let's get into it. So, um, we open up with Mr. Cocker's Fist himself, Roman Reigns. No, fuck off Twitter. Um, Skype. A anyway, um, he's he's um he's very proud, you know, to be everything. Like he was a very proud man tonight because he just beat four uh, three other dudes in a fatal four way match last week on Raw to become the number one contender. And so he said, "I'm proud to be in Denver. I'm proud to be number one contender. I'm black and I'm proud." What what? No, he didn't say that last bit. But um, he said that. And started talking about Seth Rollins and how he's good in the ring. And he's good at a couple of other things like um, brown nosing, kissing the authorities, little assholes. And um, he hates weasels, so you don't like Bobby Heenan. Good job, asshole. And that he, so he doesn't like what Rollins because Rollins is a weasel. And he says his luck is running out. Believe that. And then, of course, Seth Rollins comes out. He's got to have his say and does that fucking stupid laugh at that. <laughs> he does that ridiculous laugh and then he says he doesn't believe it for one second and he wouldn't have recruited him in the shield if he didn't think Reigns was good and so he's like Reigns you're good but you'll always be second best to me because I'm Seth Rollins and so he tells him come on and so Reigns is like come on now more to real man is then the authority comes out and is like calm down you two dickheads we're gonna make a match for tonight it is going to be a five-on-five five Survivor Series elimination match, which is Rollins' team versus Roman Reigns' team. I think, and I thought that's pretty fucking cool. Like, we got a Survivor Series match before actually Survivor Series. And I'm like, I'm down for it. You know, very interesting kind of a match for Monday Night Raw. Um, have they ever done a Survivor Series match on Raw? They probably have, but yeah, really cool to see. So um, we get our first match: Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens. Oh my fucking god, yes please. And so these guys having a fairly okay match for Raw standards. And then during the match, Tyler Breeze and Summer Rae, the biggest slut in the WWE, come in. She sits in a little VIP area where they're like lounging around, everything's all fuzzy. And they start taking selfies during the match. It's like, Jesus Christ. Um, with like Ziggles and Owens wrestling in the background. Dolph's like, oh, give me a break, mate. He goes to grab Tyler Breeze, but Breeze is like, ew, fuck off. Um, Owens then hits a pop-up powerbomb, and that's how they win the match. Um, this is obviously leading to Dolph Ziggler and Tyler Breeze, maybe in a five-on-five -five elimination match sometime down the line, or maybe just one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to have to see there. Um, we got up next, I believe... It is, um, so yeah, after the match, Tyler got in the ring and um, he went to take a selfie with Ziggler after he was hurt and all that. And his phone's mirrored on the Titan Tron. But then Ziggler gets up, punches Breeze a bit, hits rope, um, but Breeze takes him out with his beauty shot and um, they piss off. So, um, Kevin Owens, he's waltzing about backstage and Rollins is like, ah, good going, man. Look at this champion versus champion. You know, I could get you a big match at WrestleMania and all that. And. You know, Owen's like, mm, that's cool. And he's like, would you like the sound of being on Team Rollins tonight? And so he's like, he likes the sound of WrestleMania match. I'm in, but Rollins, you owe me one. Because you imagine Rollins versus Owens. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Anything involving Kevin Owens is just gold to me. Um, we get a replay of um, what happened to Team Bella being beating team, team PCB. And of course, Paige being the pie bowler the bipolar bitch that she is, she was like, oh yeah, I'm happy with P PCB, and then she's like, no bitch, slaps the both of them, and just kicks the shit out of them, and so there's going to be another Fatal 4-Way match tonight to determine the number one contenders, this is how we're going to determine all of our number one contenders now, by Fatal 4-Way matches, that's alright, so it's going to be Paige, Sasha, Brie, and Becky Lynch, and so Renee Young has a little bit of a backstage segment with Becky Lynch, and that she's the B in PCB, and that, in their opinion, there's only one B in the team, and that's Paige. Go over a bitch. So, um, she says last week was an eye-opener, and she just can't wait to beat Paige. And Brie comes on, she just annoys the piss out of me. And she's like, she doesn't need to worry about facing Charlotte, because she's going to win the whole thing. And that, Becky says, Brie's a pathetic doormat for her sister. Oh, shit. 
And then Becky then high fives from A and walks out. So, we get Cesaro versus The Miz. Um, and just, can I just say, Vince McMahon, just face it, mate. People love Cesaro. He is starting to get super, super over. Like, how many Cesaro section signs were there in the arena? Everyone had them. I don't know if they, like, hand them out during the show or everyone brings them. There has to be some guy who brings the Cesaro section signs. Maybe, like, grab one before an arena. It's like, oh, hold him up when Cesaro comes up. But, yeah, Cesaro was doing a lot of awesome stuff. Um, he did um, the swing, like, 25 times or whatever. Um, I think mean, it was like 20 or 25. And then he hit the sharpshooter for um, the submission win. Uh, so, um, okay match. Nice to see what Cesaro can do. Oh, really, It's really awesome to see him back on Raw. Hopefully Vince McMahon opens his eyes and finally realizes that we love Cesaro. He deserves to get a push at least, you know, to the Intercontinental title. I don't, has Cesaro even won the Intercontinental title? I don't think so. You know, I want to say give him the Royal Rumble victory. I don't know. We're just going to have to see how over he actually gets by Royal Rumble time. I mean, he could be very, like, popular with the crowd. Like, he is right now, but we're talking, like, super, super popular. So, um, yeah, Cesaro won by submission. And um, Stardust in the Ascension, which is chilling in a section that had the Stardust section, which was a bit of a giggle there. And uh, Stardust gives him a golf clap. Just good work there. And so, we get a Bray Wyatt promo, and oh my god, this promo was fucking fantastic. And they talked about, like, how they've manipulated Undertaker or Kane or whatever. They've, they've done something with their bodies, and that bodies, like, die off over time, but souls live forever, and that he's stolen their souls, and all that, and that he's gain some of his powers. I control the lightning and then the C and then the CGI lightning just goes Psh! and you know, I bring the thunder. Psh! Pyro goes off. You know, like all that kind of stuff happens. And um I control fire. Psh! Fire shoots out of the little posts and all that. And that I will force the summons of evil and all that. And then a video highlighting the brothers of destruction show up and then video spins off the screen. Why it's having a bit of a giggle and saying, follow the buzzards. Oh, awesome promo from Bray Wyatt. Good stuff, mate. So um, then we get the Lucha Dragons versus King Barrett and Sheamus. Nice to see that the Lucha Dragons were um, having a shine here. But this act match actually went for quite a long time. Um, how this wrapped up, uh, Kalisto was in the ring with King Barrett. They got tagged in. He had a springboard, seated senton, kicked him in the leg a couple of times. Um, hit a springboard spinning shoulder block. He um, rolled him up, kicks him in the head, hitting a head scissors. Sheamus breaks up the pin, and then Sin Cara took Sheamus out with a little crossbody over the top. Um, goes for Royal Bullhammer. Um, he counters in the soul, leader their soul for the victory. Um, nice to see Lucha Dragons get the win. Um, I'd like to see them like advance onto like a tag team title run in the future. Um, they'll probably be in like a five on five match at Survivor Series. Yeah, you know, any of these guys could. So nice to see Lucha Dragons. I think the fans really love those two. That they, they can be an awesome team for the WWE. Put the belts on very very soon. They could do a lot of wonders for your company. Um, then we get Zeb Caldy sitting in his fucking skin. I I think it's safe to say Alberto Del Rio is heel, which I don't get. I mean the whole Mex America thing. You know, combining two countries and all that. That's kind of a babyface thing, you know. Combining the whole world together and all that. That's not really heelish. But um, Jack Swagger walks in, and that's been a long time. And Swagger's like, are you okay? You know, are you and Alberto really working together? And all that. And that even us Canadians, they weren't so simple-minded. So that just gave the giveaway that, um, you know, he's friggin' a heel. And that America, Mexico has great resources, like America... Doesn't believe for one second that Bella and Rio are a team, and that they walk in, warn them to stay away. So, a possible Swagger Del Rio feud again? Is this going to be like WrestleMania twenty nine with the roles reversed? Um, it could be interesting, you know. Viva Mex America and all that. And nice to see what they can do with Del Rio. Then, um, speaking of Del Rio, he had a match with R Truth and beat the shit out of him and won. Good for him. So, um, throughout the night, they were talking about like WWE Network. Uh, talking about various Survivor Series moments, like um, the first ever match in 1980, I think it was 1987, and they were showing all the things that pop culture that no one gave a shit about now. 
And so the 2005 Survivor Series about Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, of course, no sign of like Undertaker, you know, coming out of the casket, which kind of sucked. And so Seth Rollins, he's waltzing about backstage, and then the New Day pops up. Of course, unicorns are in the air, and that Xavier's not with them yet, and that they're volunteer service the team. It's like, okay, guys, that's cool. It's just Kofi and Biggie. It's like, but well, we need one more guy. Xavier comes up, and the, you can hear the trombone, and um, Woods is going to be the fifth guy, and Rollins is like, oh, God fucking damn. It's like they're, they're annoying brother or something. It's really funny. And so he's just like, but he welcomes home Team Rollins. They start a Team Rollins chant. Rollins gets into it and he's like, ah, yeah, Team Rollins. All right, piss off. So, um, yeah, that was that segment pretty cool. Then we get a Sasha Banks uh, interview with JoJo. She comes in and is like, do you have any anxiety he- heading into your match? And so she's like, ah, oh, you're so adorable. But um, what's the real question? That there's a lot of pressure on her. Sasha says that she always delivers. Of course, the crowd wants her and all that. And that Charlotte should keep one eye open because she's coming for the title. And that tells Jojo that Halloween is over. This is Monday Night Raw and the boss has taken over. Then we have the Fatal 4-Way number one contenders Divas Championship match. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Brie Bella and Paige all going out. They have a pretty damn good match. Uh, um, it was really fun to watch. Um, but ended up Paige getting the win. Um, Brie did, kept doing the Daniel Bryan kicks. Um, don't dig that, man. I, I think as a heel... You're using a baby face's move to get over. I don't really get that, to be honest. But anyway, Paige wins, wins the match, and then she cuts, oh my god, absolute savagery, you know. And that she says, um, Paige said, Brie, Sasha, and Bang- Becky are losers. Oh, fuck damn, no, she, this is getting a bit crazy. And that if anyone cheers them on, they're a loser too. Oh my god, absolute savagery here. And that uh, Paige says that she will face Charlotte for the Divas title. And they cheer Baby Flair. They'll lose as well. Oh, my God. Calm down, Paige. Th- th- this is a PG show. Chill out. You're calling fans losers. My God. And um, they talk about this is her house. Sick. And then we show the 2014 Survivor Series main event. And they cut Sting's bit out for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I remember hearing one rumor mill that apparently sticks trying to get a race from WWE memory. I didn't believe that for a second. I just didn't think they did it, which is pretty weird. I think that'd be the first thing they did, but I don't know. Something's going on. Why? Why WWE really loves erasing people from history? That's fucking weird. So, um, what? What's another thing we got? Um, Team Rollins. So they show us Team Rollins and all that. And so Renee Young's backstage with Charlotte. And um, Charlotte says she's not here because Ric Flair's daughter. And that Paige will learn that she wasn't just given the Divas title for no reason that she earned it. Um, we get the New Day making their way to the ring um, before the main event. And um, they tell the crowd, shh. And then he wonders if there's a more equipped team to be on a Survivor Series team. And they pretty much use every Survivor word used in pop culture. And they survived the vicious attack on Dudley Boys. And they survived Xavier's Abandoned. And it's like... And they delve a lot deeper and they tell them what's their favourite band, Survivor. That's a band who does Iron for Tiger. And the favourite reality show, Survivor. The favourite Destiny's Child song is Survivor. I was waiting for them to do that one. Favourite book and movie is Lone Survivor. And they'll leave Team Ron's to victory because you it rocks, obviously. Um, we get a five-on-five five elimination match. Of course, it's Team Rollins, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens and The New Day. And um, Roman Reigns has his partners, which are the Usos, making their return. I know um, Jay or Jimmy or whatever was um, injured for a bit, and then he come back. So they're all ready to go. Nice to see the Usos back. Um, and we got Ryback and, of course, Dean Ambrose. Um, we started off with Jay Uso. Um, he's the one who returned. Jimmy Uso's been around for a bit. Um, he's splashed the top rope. Xavier Woods is out of there. And so Team Rollins is talking uh, strategy. And then... Um, New Day hit with stereo dives over the top rope. Jay had a really bad landing. Uh, and then Jimmy put Kingston in the ring, hit the top rope splash, and eliminated Kofi Kingston. And then uh, Big E attacked Jimmy from behind. Jay got tagged in, and um, Jimmy hit a um, kick blocked. Um, but he super kicked Big E, and then he cuts him off with the top rope, pulls him down for the big ending. Jay Uso is out of there. And then uh, Jimmy went for a plancher on Big E. Owens catched him, pop up powerbomb. Jimmy's out of there. So there goes the Usos. And um, so Roman Reigns gets in for a bit, and 
tries to take down everyone. And then um, I believe Biggie got right back on in, and then Biggie hit him with belly belly. So I'd suplex two count, um, pull the straps down, and he's doing the uh, 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 thing. Ryback gets out of the ring, big ending, hits Shell Shock, and there goes Big E. Then um, Rollins quickly hits Ryback from behind, clubs the back of the head, pedigree, Ryback's out of there, and so we are just down so um down to Rollins and Owens and I believe Reigns and Ambrose. So um, Rollins went to the top rope, hit a flying knee, accidentally hits Owens, good on you mate. Ambrose throws Rollins out of the ring, dirty D's on Owens, he's out of there, so it's just the Shield boys, and so the crowd chants you sold out. Um, Ambrose tagged himself in, went for the Doomsday Vice. Rollins gets out of it. Ambrose catches Rollins before he leaves. Rollins hits him in the midsection and calls, with the check to cause a disqualification. And so Team Reigns wins by disqualification. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose are the surviving members. Um, Rollins hit Ambrose and Reigns in the spine with a chair. Rollins threw Ambrose over the barricade. Cracked Reigns in the spine with it. And so he's just going crazy with the chair. And um, crowd is loudly booing Reigns um, for some reason. Hold up the chair. I think that means Rollins. Um, he stalks Reigns. He comes back, Superman punch. Rollins quickly grabs his world title and runs off like the little bitch because, you know, fuck booking your champion strong. And um, yeah, Reigns and Ambrose just stands tall. And that was it for Monday Night Raw. Um, okay, show. I enjoyed the um, 5 on 5 elimination match, and that Ray Wyatt promo was the highlight of the night for me. Fantastic stuff. I'm so excited what they're going to do with the White family, Undertaker and Kane. Probably a big elimination match at Survivor Series. That's what I've been saying the entire night. There's, there has to be an elimination match at Survivor Series. But, um, yeah, extremely excited what they're going to do there. I'm excited for Cesaro, for what they're going to do next with Cesaro. Hopefully they keep pushing him and not just fucking put him on superstars. Because, you know, everyone watches superstars. No one does. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give this raw... I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It, it was fine. So, so um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Comment down below your thoughts on uh, tonight's raw. Well, not tonight's, but this episode. Um, if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. Got some more 2K16 uh, videos coming out for you real soon. Um, Twitter and Instagram is at jackamanlol 31 and I'll catch you guys in, in the future. And I'm out in three, two, one.